Hi, God's people. Today we are going to read from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 9. All Israel was listed in the genealogies recorded in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. They were taken captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now the first to resettle on their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, levites and temple servants. Those from Judah, from Benjamin, and from Ephraim and Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem were Utai son of Amahud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, a descendant of Perez son of Judah. Of the Shelonites, Isaiah the firstborn and his sons. Of the Zarahites, Jewel. The people from Judah numbered 690. Of the Benjamites, Salu son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasanua. Ibniah son of Jeroham, Elah son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam son of Shephatiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah. The people from Benjamin, as listed in their genealogy, numbered 956. All these men were heads of their families. Of the priests, Jediah, Jehoiarib, Jachin, Azariah son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraev, the son of Ahitu, the official in charge of the house of God. Adiah son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Machajah, and Messiah son of Adil, the son of Jazerah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshulamith, the son of Amur. The priests, who were heads of families, numbered 1,760. They were able men, responsible for ministering in the house of God. Of the Levites, Shemaiah son of Hashub, the son of Azrakim, the son of Hashabiah, Amararite, Bakbakar, Hiresh, Gulal and Madaniah son of Mekah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, Obadiah son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jejuthun, and Barakiah son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites. The gatekeepers, Shalom, Akab, Talman, Ahiman and their fellow Levites, Shalom their chief being stationed at the king's gate on the east, up to the present time. These were the gatekeepers belonging to the camp of the Levites. Shalom son of Kor, the son of Ebiasaph, the son of Korah, and his fellow gatekeepers from his family, the Korahites, were responsible for guarding the thresholds of the tent just as their ancestors had been responsible for guarding the entrance to the dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times Phinehas son of Eleazar was the official in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah son of Meshelamiah was the gatekeeper at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds numbered 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel the seer. They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the Tent of Meeting. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north and south. Their fellow Levites in their villages had to come from time to time and share their duties for seven-day periods. But the four principal gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted with the responsibility for the rooms and treasuries in the house of God. They would spend the night stationed around the house of God, because they had to guard it, and they had charge of the key for opening it each morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service, they counted them when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the special flour and wine, and the olive oil, incense and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Mattithiah, the firstborn son of Shalom the Korahite, was entrusted with the responsibility for baking the offering bread. Some of the Kohathites, their fellow Levites, were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levite families, stayed in the rooms of the temple and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the work day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem. Jael the father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maka, and his firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Geder, Ahio, Zechariah and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shemim. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab and Eshbal. The son of Jonathan, Merib Baal, who was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Tarya and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jada, Jada was the father of Alameth, Asmaveth and Zimri, and Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Biniah, 
Repiah was his son, Eliza his son and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Azrakam, Bokaru, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. Praise the Lord. See you all tomorrow.